This is Jess at uh, Eat How to Drywall. Um, today we're going to do a uh, knockdown texture in a coffer. Um, I have my mud, it's ready to go, it's pretty thick. Um, my nozzle. My nozzle is, I believe, the number on it. Well, the number says eight. It's one of the bigger ones. It's one of the bigger ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to it. Phil's got to turn on my machine there. I think We're using the Greco. What's, what's going on? That's the texture machine it's that we have. So we're gonna do a knockdown today. You wanna turn me on, buddy? Yeah. Thank you. Now that uh, now that we're done spraying it, we're gonna have to leave it for about 10 minutes before we come and knock it down. We made sure that there was lots of mud on the ceiling. It's looking good. We'll wait about 10 minutes. So? It's time. Is it time, Jess? This is my knockdown knife. It's, I put it on an extender pole. We have a bigger knife, but uh, I just, I think that this size is good enough for now. If I was in more of a rush, I'd probably use the big one. Um, but I think it's about time. You want to be pretty particular with your blade. You don't want to start gouging, you want to make sure that the bend of the blade is the back of the moon on the ceiling, not the face of the moon. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It has a little bit of a bend in it. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, the bend is like this. This is the side that I want on the ceiling. Make sure that you strong. clean off your. You gotta, you gotta clean your blade. You don't clean your blade, you're gonna get uglies pulling on your ceiling as well, and we don't want that. We want it to look very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. You'll, you'll be wearing it in the face a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, that's starting to look really nice.
This is not done and this is not quite. Just come up here. up inside the light fixture. This one's hanging down, so I gotta be a little bit careful. So I think I'll start from this side. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You don't have well, you shouldn't have to apply too much pressure. The knife should do the work for you. If you're using one of these. Uh, I know other guys that use uh, big taping knives, weaving knives, and uh, I just I think the the wider the surface, the more surface that you cover without you know, somebody seeing where you start and finish, that's kind of the trick to a knockdown. So, you can go a whole bunch of different ways, right? Like, after this, I'll probably go over this this way, just to flatten them out a little bit more, make them show a little bit. With this knife, you really don't have to worry too much. No. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do a, a knockdown, guys. That's that. Uh, Thanks, Jess. Yeah, man.